Solid rock. That's nature's true grit. And today, it's got to take everything I've got. Jay, come on. Stand up on those feet. Uh, I'm trying. And I climb like this. Keep pulling, keep pulling, come on. Uh, you really find out who you are. Uh, uh. Ah, a donut. Hey, Alex, let's take a look at your van. It should be some more donuts in there, right? Perfect, let's go. Talk about true grit. Alex spent almost every waking moment living on the edge, climbing the steepest, most treacherous mountains. This superstar not only has a podcast called Climbing Gold, but his incredible record-setting climb of California's legendary El Capitan was featured in the Academy Award-winning documentary Free Solo. Ah, oh, I saw this in the movie. Yeah, home sweet home. Yeah, welcome. Very nice. Now, did you do all this conversion yourself? No, no, I had a friend do it. You lived in it. You didn't take this out on weekends. This, no, was, no, this I, was your house. Yeah, I lived in it full time. Now, how does that work? When your van goes in for an oil change or service, are you just it's, on the lift for two days in, in the garage? I mean, uh, it's, your, it's your house. It's all your stuff. Yeah, no, honestly, it is a bummer. If the van needs service, it's like yeah. a big problem. And have you ever gotten with. a ticket in your house? Yeah. <laughs> Alex's house is a customized 2016 Ram Promaster van. And every design choice is strategic, from solar panels to sleeping quarters to even extra headroom. You started at age, what, five? No, I started climbing at 10. I mean, I'd always loved climbing things, you right. know, climbing trees. And then I was lucky enough that a climbing gym opened in my hometown when I was 10. Did you know, well, this is it. This is what I want to do. I knew that I wanted to climb all the time, but I didn't think that that would be like a life path. Right. But then uh, I dropped out of university and just kept climbing all the time, and it sort of became a path. Well, here, show me some of the things you've added. I want to know more about it. Give me a tour of the van. You got all kinds of room. Yeah, it's comfy. You can train. You got a gym. Now, I saw you doing pull-ups in this in the movie. How does that, is this actually a climbing tool? Yeah, so this is a pretty standard, it's called a hangboard. It's a standard training tool. You hang off different size edges and for different amounts of time, doing pull-ups, things like that. So I saw you cooking. I, yep, I yep. can't say I was envious of what you were eating. It didn't you look that good. You were unimpressed by my cooking? No, I, the cooking didn't do much for me. And I could just see my mother yelling at you, because in the movie, you're using the spatula to eat out of the pot. And, um, my mother, that, so would, that would be it. People, to... people make fun of that. But honestly, if you live in a van and you have a limited amount of water, it is the most efficient way. Can you, you can explain that to my mother, right, okay? I'll, I'll explain to how that works out. Let's go around and see the garage. Yeah, let's check out the garage. Here we go. So pretty straightforward, but. Okay. So I've got bouldering pads, oh, you, you know, your pads, sort of, yeah. yeah, utility cargo space on top. But the main thing is these big pull drawers, which are kind of sweet. So this is like oh, wow. all the climbing equipment you would need for an expedition. And then I basically always have climbing bag packed and then a bunch of equipment. Oh, well, very cool. Well, let me show you this one. Cool. This is Winnebago Revel. And if I were gonna start living in a van, which I'm not saying I would, this 2021 Winnebago Revel Ultimate Luxury Camping Van would be my ticket. My ticket to the Four Seasons Hotel. With an electric power bed, kitchen, entertainment center, and of course the absolute must, a toilet! Uh, there's no bathroom in yours, right? Well, I got a two liter bottle. Oh, you got the bottle. Two yeah, I got a bottle. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. very simple bathroom and no cleanup required. Yeah, no cleanup required. You just pour it just, out. Just don't want to yeah. mistake it for the orange juice. Wait, well, you ready to go for a ride? Yeah. yeah Come on, you it. hop in yours, and we'll take this, and we'll go. Perfect. Yeah. It's so exciting. I feel like I'm a stunt driver. Is there a better time of day to climb? Is it the early morning? Climbing really is dictated by conditions and by weather. So you generally want to climb in the shade, so you just have to choose when the wall that you're trying to climb is, is shaded. You want cool conditions, so you choose the correct time of year. And really that's why I live in a van most of the time is because if you're trying to nail conditions all the time, you right. have to be pretty mobile. And as a climber, this may be a silly question, can you learn anything from those mountain goats that climb? I mean, they literally almost look like they're climbing El Capitan at some point. Mountain goats are, are pretty incredible, though. Actually, fun story. A friend and I were once approaching a, a 
challenging wall in, in uh, Baja, California. And uh, we looked over and we're like, oh, look, those mountain goats, they're moving so gracefully, like they make it look so easy. And then we saw one of the mountain goats slip and basically tumble down the rocks. But wow. we were like, it, it got back up and it was okay. So, you know, like basically if the terrain is hard enough, occasionally even animals fall down. How surprised were you to win the Academy Award? I mean, the whole thing is, uh, it's pretty surreal. I mean, just to have a movie in theaters, I mean, especially for a rock climber, I just really had no idea what to expect or what, you know, what might happen. Well, Alex, I want to thank you. I found the film fascinating, and I love your commitment. You know, I like people that are committed to something. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. See you on the rock face. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Uh, you may be waiting a while.